if a young female had myasthenia gravis and she gets pregnant and she delivers a baby, could the baby have some problems initially? Sure. Um, we talked a little bit about the acetylcholine receptor antibody. And um, that antibody can cross the placenta and get into the baby's bloodstream. So when the baby is born, it doesn't really have myasthenia gravis. It can't produce that antibody, but it received that antibody passively into its bloodstream. And when it's born, it can be seriously ill due to what we talked about before, respiratory muscle weakness and general muscle, generalized muscle weakness. And the good thing about this is, is that if you're prepared and you know this could happen, then the uh, neonatal team will be prepared to support the baby with a breathing machine if necessary through a period of several weeks. And after that, the, there should be no problem because the antibody is broken down. So we refer to it as a transitory, or if they get it for a short period of time, yes. and eventually that antibody leaves the child and the kid is okay. Right. Neonatal myasthenia gravis.